Dr. Peter Swans here with Vital Force Naturopathy, and we're heading into the spring season here in Louisville, Kentucky, and it can be a really challenging time for people with allergies. So I wanted to make a quick video and talk about two relatively simple things we can do to try to minimize the impact of all the pollens and molds and different things that start to really impact us because they're so prevalent in our external environment. And, and so what we wanna do is we wanna think about the things we can control because the stuff outside, we can't, right? And so there's two things that I want to talk about specifically. And the first thing is I want us to think about our body as a vessel that can only handle so much. And as things start to fill in, we might start to overflow and that can be our allergy symptoms. So again, we're gonna get filled up by all the pollens, the danders, the things outside, but what we can do is control other things that start to fill up our internal vessel. And a place to start, a great place to start is with our food sensitivities. And if you haven't ever really done work or testing to figure out what your food sensitivities are, this is something that can have a lot of value in how your body feels and functions going forward. If I had to pick the five like food sensitivity uh, horsemen of the apocalypse, it would be wheat, corn, soy, dairy, and probably peanuts. So those tend to be uh, problematic for <clears throat> a lot of people today. The second thing that we can do to lessen the impact of what we get exposed to outside is we can be sure to shower and bathe at night before we go to bed, especially, especially if you've been doing work outside, trying to get the yard ready for spring. You know, after work, you come home, you're planting some flowers, you're starting to clean up. We get covered in these things from our environment. And if we don't bathe and don't wash these things off, we have the potential to drag them into the bed. Not me with the hair so much, but you with hair at home, um, if you've got it on your clothes, and then you lay on the pillow, you get it on the pillow, you get it in your sheets, and you're gonna be exposed to it again every night until you finally change the sheets and um, you know put, put new linens on. So those are two very simple things that can make a big difference as we're heading into the spring allergy season. So I just wanted to share that with you. I appreciate the comments, the shares, the likes, and um, you know, let's all get healthy together. Thanks so much for watching.